This guy was stranded at sea for 438 days, and get this, he actually kept his deceased friend's body around to talk. Meet Salvador Alvarenga, the guy who went on a two-day fishing trip off the coast of Mexico with his buddy Ezequiel Cordoba and faced the darkest fate of life. Fighting for survival against the merciless sea for 438 days, let's uncover the darkest stories you won't believe in this real-life castaway story. Now it's time to rewind the clock back into November 17, 2012. Alvarenga and Cordoba, who were experienced fishermen, embarked a fishing trip inside a 25-foot fishing boat with no sail or a motor from Costa Azul, Mexico. They were fishing 50 to 100 miles offshore in the risky deep-sea waters. Everything was calm and normal. But Alvarenga knew a storm was brewing but felt confident in their ability to survive it. However, the storm proved overwhelming severely damaging their boat and leaving them adrift in the Pacific Ocean. The storm raged on for almost a week, tossing their boat around like a toy. Cordoba, just 22 years old, was thrown into the water, but Alvarenga managed to grab him and pull him back on board by his hair. Things went from bad to worse as they lost their engine, radio, and fishing gear. All they had left was an icebox for their catch and a bucket to bail out water. In their gripping tale of survival, Alvarenga and his companion found themselves pushed to the limits of ingenuity and desperation. With Alvarenga's lifelong fishing experience, they resorted to catching fish using only their hands. As their ordeal dragged on, they battled against the scorching sun and dwindling water supplies, resorting to drinking rainwater and even their own urine to quench their thirst. Yet their struggle only intensified as they found themselves forced to hunt seabirds for survival, drinking their blood to stave off dehydration and keep their strength up. With each passing day, the fiery sun beat down upon them, and the search for food and water took its toll on their bodies and spirits. But Alvarenga had to face another challenge where life pushed him down to the darkest pits. Patience and survival battle soon left Alvarenga's buddy's mind. He was giving up and was panicking about death. Memories of his mother and the comforts of home haunted him relentlessly. Alvarenga did his best to console his friend, but nothing seemed to help. Sadly, Cordoba eventually passed away on the boat. Before he died, he asked Alvarenga to tell his mom that he was with God. Alvarenga's friend's death drove him into mental battle. He kept Cordoba's body on the boat, talking to it as a way to fend off loneliness. He even considered taking his own life in the days following the Cordoba's death. After searching for a land almost a year, the devastating ocean has sailed him to the end of his survival story. In January 29, 2014, he noticed mountains. When he reached close enough, Alvarenga jumped into the water. He swam towards the land with all he had. It was one of the Marshall Islands. Alvarenga spoke with residents who were at the beach. However, no one spoke Spanish and they used hand gestures to communicate. The residents gave him water, but he instantly began to bloat. So they quickly took him to the Marshall Islands' biggest hospital for treatments. Alvarenga returned to El Salvador after spending 11 days in the hospital. However, he had some long-term effects on his physical and mental health. He had trouble sleeping and had a fear of water. When he came back, everyone was shocked but relieved to see him alive and well. But that wasn't the end of the story. He had a promise to keep to his friend. So he went to visit Cordoba's mother and shared the message that her son is with the god. Months after his survival, the journalist Jonathan Franklin published Salvador Alvarenga's story in the book 438 Days, an extraordinary true story of survival at sea. Shortly after Alvarenga's book was out, Cordoba's family sued him for $1 million. They accused him of eating the flesh of their relative to survive. But Alvarenga's lawyer denied this accusation, and he remained not guilty. In a real-life story that could rival any Oscar-winning survival movie, one man's journey through 438 harrowing days of unimaginable horror stands as a testament to the strength of the human spirit.